Shelby, are there any mushrooms to help with gut issues? I love medicinal mushrooms. I actually did an entire talk on YouTube about it. Um, so definitely check that out once again. Um, and medicinal mushrooms are really interesting because uh, personally too, with my husband and like gut health issues, um, it's fascinating to see, <laughs> sometimes it's not so fascinating, but we can see like how his autoimmune condition, and he's doing great, but it'll respond to certain foods. And this is where we do have to be a little bit careful. So a lot of people like read about turkey tail um, or your it, Cori Coriolis is the actual name for the turkey tail mushroom and anti-cancer, you're treating hemangiosarcomas, we're getting longer remission times. And so everyone puts their pets on turkey tail. Now, the thing is, is there's a lot of different mushrooms and I, like just like probiotics, I believe variety is key to optimal health and homeostasis. And so we can rotate in things like shiitake, reishi, which is the mushroom of immortality. We can use uh, your Coriolis. We can use cordyceps, which is really good for lung health. So take that right now, everyone, for yourself. Um, and also the one mushroom that I find has a lot of research and also doesn't necessarily flare up if your pet has a sensitive GI tract and doesn't have an autoimmune condition is the chaga mushroom. So C-H-A-G-A. -A. So chaga mushroom, one of the brands that I really love that grows the mushrooms well, which is very important. We're looking for mushrooms that are typically grown on wood, not on grain. And the reason why is, so we have a fruiting body and we have, so that's like what we eat. If you go to a store and get button mushrooms, you're eating the fruiting body. And then we have this mycelium and the mycelium is what spreads through the soil, interacts with other plants, like a really cool organism. And uh, the mycelium is what's growing on the substrate. And depending on what we're growing it on, if we grow it on things like grains, what we find is that the carbohydrate content is higher in that mushroom. So if you're treating things like cancer, we don't want that. Carbs turn into sugar. Sugar feeds cancer cells. Our pets have no requirements for carbs. We want higher protein diets. That's more species appropriate. So ensure that the brand is testing for beta glucans, which are the beneficial properties of the mushroom, and also that they are indicating where they're grown and also that they're testing for heavy metals. So Real Mushrooms is a human brand, but they have like different varieties. They have mixes, but they also have one for separate uh, species alone. So the chaga mushroom would be one that you could use, especially if your pet has a sensitivity and has GI issues and start small, start really small just to make sure that they don't get loose stool.